Hi everyone, this is Dr. Manu Krishnan K. So, we have seen the upper end and shaft of the radius in detail. And now let's discuss the lower end of radius. You can see it is an expanded part, which is comprising of certain external features. So, let's begin with the surfaces. The lower end of radius is having five surfaces, namely the anterior surface, which you can see as a concave surface. Then on the opposite side, we have the posterior surface with some special features that you can see here. You can see a very prominent tubercle here. This is called as the dorsal tubercle or the Lister's tubercle. And right next to it, you can see certain grooves. It is for the passage of the extensor tendons. And then we have the medial surface, the medial surface here you can see a notch which is for the articulation with the lower end of ulna. You have seen the lower end of ulna in the previous session and on the opposite side we have the lateral surface and finally the inferior surface. So total we have five surfaces namely the anterior surface, medial surface, posterior surface and the lateral surface. Adding on to that we have the inferior smooth surface which articulates with the carpal bones. And you can see there is the inferior surface can be divided into two components. There is a triangular area here and a rectangular area on the other side. The triangular area will be articulating with the scaphoid bone of the carpals and here the rectangular area will be articulating with the lunate bone. So that concludes the lower end and apart from these four surfaces there is one extension you can see there is a tip like prominence here that is named as the styloid process of radius.